welcome to the channel we're at the Granger Fairview Cemetery right over here it's a sign we have done right smart a little bit over here so we're gonna pick up right where we left off here we go here's gonna be our first one it's gonna be Alan born August the 12th 1847 and died March the looks like 31st uh 1892 then his wife born february the 20th 20th 1851 and died december the 3rd 1914 is what i see on that stone all right <sighs> next is this big beautiful stone right here it's going to be fair fairfax he died August 29th, 1887, at the age of 74 years, nine months. His wife died September the 12th, 1891, at the age of 73 years and six months. And that is a beautiful stone. Here's our next one. Beautiful old stone. And it's going to be Francis. And Francis died something the 1st, 1866. At the age, it looks like 21 years, and looks like two days to me. All right, here's our next one. Anne, wife of C.C. C. C. Smith, I think, or O.C. Smith, one. November the 14th, 1895, at the age of 67 years and six months. That is a beautiful old stone. Then you have whatever that name is. November the 28th, 1893, at the age of 77 years, nine months, and 15 days. And then we have more people in here. We have Ella, or Elma, wife of O.G. Smith, died May the 5th, 1855, at the age of 31 years. And then, I'm not sure on the last name, died August 21st, 1895, at the age of 46 years and two months on that side. Yeah, let's see if we make sure there ain't no one in the back. Nope. All right. All right, we'll move on. Can't see nothing on them two. Now we're up to here. Can't see nothing on that one. So we'll move on. Here we have a John. He died January the 18th, 1860 at the age of 100 years. Then we have a John something junior. He died October the 1st, 1867 at the age of 73 years and three months. Well, good, good job on making it to 100 there, sir. That was awesome back in them days because a lot of people didn't make it long. Here we have a Lucilla Chapman, 1866-1950, and Frank, 1862-1938. Man, this is a bigger cemetery than I thought it was. Here we have an Archie Cooks, or Arch Cooks, 1850-1895, and Laura, his wife, 1851 to 1942. And I don't know if this is somebody's stone or what, but it is leaning up there as it is a headstone. It looks like it has had writing there, and there's a design right here, a little bit of a design. So I'm going to say that's somebody's headstone, but I don't know whose. I cannot tell you, because I do not know. All right. And the place is a little bit flooded here and there, so I gotta watch for that too. Here we have Geo, 1825 to 1906. Emmeline, 1831 to 1921. Uh, then we have Jay Judson, 1844 to 1932. And Angela, his wife, 1847 to 1921 on this stone. Uh, this one's 1879 to 1917, but I can't see the name. There it is. This is the Anna. That's all I can tell. Looks like she might have died in 1857 or 67. I'm not sure. Here we have a Nancy, the wife of J. I mean H. C. 
Looks like she died July the, or June, June the 18th. I want to say 1883 at the age of 65 years. And then H.C., he died October the 15th, 1890 at the age of 77 years. And that's all that's on that stone. All right. Then we have a Charles. He was in the uh, Civil War. And he died August 18th, 1922 at the age of 83 years. He may be a revolution. I'm not sure. Anyways, Jane, his wife, she died September the 25th, 1908 at the age of 65 years. Uh, Cornella, the wife of Albert, she died October the 1st, 1865, at the age of 73 years. Then, I don't know, Monk or something like that. He died September the 6th, 1863, at the age of, looks like 36 years. And then Albert. He died November the 11th, 1887, at the age of 93 years. All right. Uh, ain't going to tell nothing on this one, don't look like. It's right in there, guys. Nope. Let's move on. Here we have... Faxton, I think. July the something. Looks like 1861 to me on this one. There's a couple missing. I'm going to assume it's going to be these laying up here that's sideways. Right here. We're not going to be able to read that one. So we'll take this to here. Uh, this one died March the 26th, 1851. And the one next to them died May the 15th, 1822. I'm going to say this infant died in 1822. And its name was Hatch. I believe it says. Amanda? The wife of, I don't know if it's William or what, I can't really make that out. Somebody's done something to the way that it looks. Anyways, died June the 6th, 1841 at the age of 37 years, 3 months and 21 days on this one. Then we have uh, 1841 and it's going to be an infant, but I can't tell any more about it. Then, this one here is Hiram, August uh, 13th, 1872. On this one, it's 75 years and one day, I think it says. Then we have Nathan Hatch. He died January the 10th, 1850, at the age of 81 years. 81 years. And this one broke off right next to where, right there. Anyways, it's going to be Lucy. And it's the wife of Nathan Hatch. And she died February the 17th, 1858. She broke off right there. Uh, all right. Ooh, uh, what do we got going on here? I think we done done this one. Let's see if we have. Yeah, we done done Elizabeth. All right. And that's just the main, oh no, it's down here at the bottom. All right. There's Chester, 1860 to 1928. Minnie, 1864 to 1955. And they still got room for two more people. And that's their last name. All right. Here we have this nice little stone here. It's gonna be a Charlotte. And she died February the 15th, 1880, at the age of 84 years, 10 months, and 4 days. 
on that stone right there. And then it's gonna be Connored. And he looks like he died April the 11th, 1871 to me on this side. Then we have, I'm not sure on the name, but it looks like 1856 to me. And the reason why I say that is the 18's right there and the 56 is right here. All right. Here we have Willie. He died February 11th, 1859. And that's all that's on that stuff. Warbin, son of CNN Turner, died January the 27th, 1842, at the age of 22 years. On this one, that's a beautiful stone. Then we have Carrie Richards, 1870 to 1926, and Ralph Richards. Born at Wadsworth, Oregon, February the 2nd, 1968. Drowned in a lake in Fort, 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 wait a minute. Drowned in a lake in Worth, Florida in 1894. Wow, that's sad. Robert Richards. Born August the 28th, 1835, and died December the 18th, 1895. A member of the 42-something, I don't know how to read all that. He was in the Civil War. And Caroline, his wife, was born April the 13th, 1837, and died August the 6th, 1912. All right. Then we have a baby. Right here, mother and baby. And that's gonna be right here. That's gonna be Peter. June the 30th, 1849 to October the 7th, 1906 in Elsa. June the 13th, 1859 to March the 6th, 1897. And their daughter Ruth, February the 23rd, 1897 to March the 4th, 1897. All right. Then we have Sophia, 1855 to 1931, and Everett, 1849 to 1937. This is our next one. It's going to be bowls and they're gonna have a baby here right here and it's gonna be the wife right here and it looks like 1857 to 1916 on her uh, these stones right here this is Mariah Kate Abby Fanny and William they're all right here Abby the late wife died August the 4th 1891 at the age of 34 years in 10 months their daughter Wendy or she died August 12th 1891 at the age of two months WC he died November the 3rd 1923 at the age of 79 years Fanny his wife died December the 21st 1904 at the age of 43 years. Kate, his wife, died November the 13th, 1883 at the age of 36 years. And that's all that's on that stone. All right, it takes me to here. And we ain't gonna be able to tell nothing on this one. No, it's pretty well gone, guys. All right, let me catch this one right down here. I hate the way they chop this up because you spend a lot of time walking trying to get to the graves. Uh, I'm not sure on the name. But it looks like she died February the 23rd, 
1854 at the age of 12 years, one month, and five days on that one. That's what I'm going to say. All right. So that takes us to here. That's going to be JW. He died August 17th, 1891 at the age of 59 years and 10 months. Willie, age 7 months. Amanda, wife of MC. She died December the 18th, 1809, or 1909 one, at the age of 74 years and 29 days. I'm going to say it's 1909. Can't tell nothing about that one. So I had to move us on to this next one. And it's going to be Fanny. And she died January 22nd, 1856 on that one, is what I'm going to say. All right. Here we have Grove Sylvester, 1861 to 1945, and Jenny, his wife, 1872 to 1923. This is a good looking stone. You don't see too many like this one. This is going to be Thomas Sylvester, July the 28th, 1838 to November the 7th, 1902. And Nancy, his wife, April the 18th, 1838 to May the 18th, 1923 on this one. And he is going to be a Civil War veteran as well. Man, there's a lot of Civil War veterans in here. I got to get those two stones. What was I? No, I don't. That's in the next part. Never mind. Try to figure out where I'm at, guys. We have a William, born June the 7th, 1816. He died August 23rd, 1899. His wife, Anne, she was born April the 26th, 1820, and she died December the 22nd, 1906. Big, beautiful stone right there. And they are all that's on that stone. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. It's going to go with this name right there. It's going to be Edward. 1820 to 1907. Elsie, 1828 to 1895. And La, La Greta, 1860 to, says she's still alive or buried somewhere else. All right. Here's our next one. It's going to be Harriet, sister of G.S. Bowles, the wife of somebody April the 16th 1819 to December the 29th 1898 and on this side Connard January the 23rd 1821 to March 26 1908 and his wife February the 7th 1826 to June the 15th 1893 Oh goodness, this thing fell over. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna try to raise, flip this up if I can. Uh, I'll sit you down a minute while I fix this. Right here. Uh, there we go. We got it back up where on this place where it belongs. All right, here we go. Murray Duncan, 1855 to 1897, and John Duncan, 1846 to 1930. He's a Civil War veteran as well. Thank you for your service, sir. Then we have James Reynolds, March 24th, 1831 to May the 7th, 1904. His wife, Esther, November the 20th, 1830, to March the 10th, 1923. That is a good-looking stone. Then we have Rufus Rockwood, born July the 9th, 1837. He died June the 21st, 1896. And Amanda Kennedy, his wife, born April the 8th, 1841, died December the 25th, 
1924. That's a good looking stone as well. Then we have John King, October the 11th, 1842 to December the 21st, 1908. His wife, Polly, October the 22nd, 19, I mean 1841 to August 10th, 1900. He's a Civil War veteran as well. Man, this is starting to be a Civil War veteran cemetery. Here we have Barney. He died, I want to say June the 18th. 1900 at the age of 75 years on that one this is a good looking stone coming up it's going to be eugene welton 1853 to 1915 and laura his wife 1855 to 1916 on that one then we got ira Welton's wife, 1852 to 1911, and Bertha, 1858 to 1913. All right. And then this stone, this stone, that stone, and that stone, I'll go right here. We have Wells, 1871 to 1948. Edith Wells, his wife, 1876 to 1935. And the last name, it's the daughter, 1908 to 1919. And that's all that's on that stone. All right. We've got to start in the back of this one because it's named in the back. We have Frank, 1870 to 1937. Geo, 1878 to, it says he's still alive or buried somewhere else. And Edith. 1876 to 19, it says they're still alive. All right, let's go to the other side now. We have Chester Kilby, 1872 to 1906. His mother, Harriet Kilby, 1842 to 1928. All right. Then we have Mary Harrington. 1866 to 1949, and Alvin Harrington, 1862 to 1941. This next one's going to be a Civil War veteran, H&S Crispin, 1829 to 1916, and his wife, 1834 to 1906. All right. Elza, 1862 to 1909. Lewis, 1859 to 1944. And that goes with that stone right there. Then we have James, 1889 to 1957. And Lucille, 1888 to 1972. Uh, Mother Alice, 1863 to 1916, Henry, 1861 to 1944, and Albert, 1887 to 1967, and then one stone's missing right there. All right. Then we have Raymond Eugene, 1900 to 1935, Eugene Hatch, 1935 to 1999, and Albert, or Allard, Allard, or something like that. 1911 to 1994 and Forrest. 1907 to 1985. And that's going to go with that name right there. And here's the rest of them right here. It's going to be Lois, 1941 to 2018. And Tracy, 1941 to 1988. All right. We are moving on. This one here's gonna be a Civil War veteran. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. It's right in there. All right, move on. Excuse me, guys. Oh, we don't wanna do that one. Nope. 
What is this one? Rosedale, 1919 to 1991, and Wilson, 1918 to 1960. Wilson was in World War I, Air Service, April the 14th, 1918 to January the 8th, 1960. Alright. Oh, my nose is running like a sugar tree. Wayman. Lagrand. 1859 to 1948. Roland. 1892 to 1893. And many. 1863 to 1955 on this one. Harold Looms. 1902 to 1903. And Fern. 1936 to 1961. Oh man, this next one's in a swamp. I'll stand to the side. Benjamin, 1866 to 1919. Helen, his wife, 1834 to 1922. And Lagrange, 1905 to 1907. And I hope you got to see that because I wasn't standing in the water. This one here looks like someone died in 1907, but I can't tell who. But there it is, guys. All right. I'm trying to hurry on these, but I swear it takes time when you're reading them. Anyways, this one here died April, looks like April the 6th, 1899 to me. I can't tell the name. Here's Richard Lewis, October the 3rd to October the 15th, 1930. I'm not sure on the name, but I was going to say Herbert, 1869 to 1942, and Grace, 1872 to 1964. Then we have Alex, December, it looks like December the 18th. 1886, I think, to October the something, 1900, and the bottom one, October the 5th, or 15th, 18, I want to say 45, to April the 14th, 1926 on this stone, but like I said, that's what I see, that don't mean it's the, what it is, that's just what I see. All right, we have many, 1888 to 1963, and Clarence, 1888 to 1970. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these couple out down here in this hole. I gotta come back down in here. Here we have Elizabeth Davis, 1918 to 1997. This is good looking stone. John, 1914 to 1995. And his wife, 1916 to 1977. Good looking stone right there. Alright. Man, it's wet down in this corner. Trying to keep from getting my feet wet. Here we have Orrin, 1912 to 2001, and Marie Ann, 1906 to 1976. Oh, I ain't seen no stones like this one. Catherine Stagley, 1851 to 1933. These two stones are going to go to this main stone right here. It's going to be Jess. 1861 to 1925 and Addie 1867 to 1941 then we have Maddie 1877 to 1925 and I'm not sure under the name Elton I think 1873 to 1951 and then we have Glenn, 1896 to 1969. Beulah, 1895 to 1965. And Lucy, 1920 to 1922. Then we have William, known as Bill, March the 9th, 1920 
1921 to August the 11th, 2007. And Evelyn, December the 27th, 1923 to June the 6th, 2010. They were married June 8th, 1943. And then you have Max. He was in the U.S. Army, March the 15th, 1931 to December the 5th, 2004. All right. Then we have Dean, Lawrence Dean, 1891 to 1965, Lois, 1920 to 1921, and Alice, 1891 to 1936. All right. Uh, then we have Elsa, November the 9th, 1841 to October 26, 1917. And John, July the 1st, 1842 to August 4th, 1918. Then you have Deanna, 1862 to 1940. And Perry, 1856 to 1917. And I'm not sure on the name. I'm just going to say Bert. 1832 to 1904. And Mercy, 1834 to 1917. Then you have William Bird, Pennsylvania, World War One, October the fifteenth, eighteen ninety three, to November the fifth, nineteen sixty five. Then you have, I'm not sure on the name, Bayan, I think, eighteen fifty eight to nineteen thirty three. His wife Emma. 1869 to 1909, and William, 1893 to 1965. All right. Then you have Loger or something, 1864, I think, to 1912, and Nellie, his wife, 1866 to 1941. Then you have John Turner, 1820 to 1896, and Ivra, or Ivra, 1823 to 1902, and there's more on this side. William, 1846 to 1901, Amanda, 1847 to 1816, and a William, 1881 to 1919. I think someone's colored that in with ink pen, and it sometimes it messes it up, don't it? Instead of helping to see it, it makes it worse. Then we have Alice, 1896 to 19, and it says she's still alive. All right, I've got a couple more in this corner, and then I'll probably have to end the video again. Lily, 1856 to 1931, and Charles, 1855 to 1934, and Betty, 1903 to 1952. Then we have Janet, April the 5th, 1933 to January the 9th, 1960. May she rest in peace. All right. Anderson. 1857 to 1939, and Leo, or Leroy, or something like that, I'm not sure, his wife, 1856, 1933. I bet y'all get a field day uh, listening to me pronounce these names, because I am not good. I butcher them bad. Anyways, Patricia Seaman, December the 20th, 1932, September the 26th, 2020. I do not like them years. Then Lyle, March the 12th, 1922. I don't like getting in the years where they're in the 20s and 19th. I'd rather stay back in the 50s and 40s. Anthony, 1914 to 2005. And Mary, 1921 to 2007. Harry, 1863 to 1919. And Sarah, 1870 to 1920. Then you have a George, 1890 to 1923. And Gran, Granny, I think it says, Bernice, 
1895 to 1994. You have a Donnell, 1916 to 2004, and Irene, 1918 to 1969, and he was in World War II. Thank you for your service, sir. Uh, let's see. We have Otis, 1863 to 1937, and Luella, 1863 to 1935. Man, this place goes way down through there, way down through here still. I mean, there's a lot still to cover. But anyways, we'll get it slowly. We have Bessie, 1893 to, to 1934. I'm going to have to move the flyer pot over because you can't see his name. Let's lay it over a minute. Uh, I don't know. S, I'll say, 1885 to... 1974, and that old flower pot's been sitting there for a good while. All right, should be right here. We have a Daisy, 1889 to 1964, and Jess, 1876-1968. Then we have Harriet. 1833 to 1937, and Fred, 1863 to 1933. We have Doris Dickerman, 1919 to 2012. Oh, wow, this is a good looking stone. I've not seen any like that one. Dorothy Anderson, 1897 to 1989, and Finley, 1891 to 1959. I got a couple more here, and then we'll be done. Then we have John, 1866, 1927, and Elza, I think, 1832 to 1946. Then we have John Kent, or something like Kenton, 1866, 1927 on this one. We have Clara Sylvester, 1877 to 1938, Fred Sylvester, 1832 to 1960. We have Caroline, 1919 to 2006, and Ellsworth. 1903 to 1957. Then we have Rockwood, and I'm going to say that's going to be Eddie M. 1840. I mean, 1864 to 1946, and Frank, 1861 to 1923. All right, now I got to get over here. Uh. Ooh, this is not where I wanted to start. All right. Well, we'll do this one, then we'll stop right here. And then I'll have to start a new video. All right, Randall. Gay. 1862 to 1933, he was a mason. And Rose, his wife, 1858 to 1930. Then we have Andrew, known as Andy, October the 8th, 1930. I did it my way. And Ruth, December the 21st, 1931, to June the 25th, 2016, Riding God's Trail. Beautiful stone right there. All right, guys. We have Lewis, 1876 to 1955, and B. Maud, 1876 to 1932, Wayne, 1908 to 1974, and Vivian, 1905 to 2004. And then we have, oh, it's up on top. Okay, cool. Anthony, 1906, 1974, and Vivian, 1911, 1996. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end this one and start another video. Uh, still got quite a bit to do, but I appreciate you watching, and peace. We're out of here.